Hello everyone, welcome back to Nuclear Throne and today let's look at the weekly. It's gonna be oh, it's gonna be melting with crown of blood. Um and what do we have here? A super pursuit. Okay, so everything kills us, including ourselves. <laughs> That's uh, pretty much how we enter this run. Hopefully we can uh, make something out of this. I can't, I can't even really attack anything if I don't have ammo in my uh, super bazooka. Oh my god, so many shots. This is Crown of Blood, right, here, right there. Um, gotta be extremely careful and... Wow, that was... Yeah, we missed all the drops down there, but that's okay, because we would have died if I had tried to get them. Okay, we survived the hard part of one level. Uh, hopefully we can, we can make it all the way to the end so we get a mutation. And we will. Goddamn. Um, <laughs> boiling wings for sure. Because now this gives us the ability... I mean, we're not invincible, we don't have strong uh, spirit or any, anything, so if we rush in there and uh, and shoot at things with our super bazooka, at least we won't blow ourselves up anymore. But if something shoots at us while we're shooting at them and we can't see it, then we're dead. Like, everything that shoots at us kills us. A and hits us, of course. This like we're, we're gonna still need to rely on dodging and uh traditionally speaking i'm i'm not the best at dodging but you know i i i have improved oh. he's dead never mind uh forget the oh my god that i said about the the big bandit spawn there because I forgot that we can just one shot and move to Bazooka so yeah we are offens offensively extremely powerful but very very fragile as, as fragile as it gets really defensively um, We are gonna get another mutation here. It's gonna be Rhino Skin, so at least we can take one hit from something. Not from not from all things though, because some things do more than six damage. But we can at least take one bullet or so to the face, or you know, a slight bit of fire damage on the junkyard or something like that oh my god he's dead good that that guy was actually gonna become a big concern but luckily we killed him in time come on now actually Starting this run, when I saw it was melting crown of blood with the super bazooka, I I thought I was gonna die for sure on the, on the very first level. Now we're here in the sewers, which you know isn't particularly far. I didn't see that navigator at first. Um, but certainly better than I than I would have expected on my first attempt. Oh my god. Now we're running double explosives, is that wise? Probably not, but... I don't think we have uh, any other options, because the crossbow is empty. And the jackhammer is actually a pretty good melee weapon. Explosives. Almost didn't see that dude. Okay, just slowly approach 
those snipers. He still got a swing off? How didn't he die? I'm gonna try again. Uh, okay, back to the start. Everything kills us, including, you know, ourselves having a chance of killing, killing us. So... Uh, and I botched that. We had one half decent run going and then I just fucked it up. Uh, actually, it was also a little bit unlucky though. I, I must admit, because normally the jackhammer gets a little bit of a stun knock going on enemies. But that did not happen right there for whatever reason. These explosions, man, it's... Oh, and we didn't get the crossbow drop this time. Ah, uh, shit. What do we get here? A shotgun. That's something for the early game. Boiling veins, like, no questions asked. It is... It is quintessential for, for this run. Good. Oh, don't want a screwdriver. Don't want a wrench. <sighs> now this, this second level is actually uh, probably easier than the first one was. But, well. We're going to be getting to the big bandit fight now, and uh, hopefully we can do it just as well as we did in the first attempt and just absolutely wreck his face by one-shotting. He's going to spawn down there, and he didn't die immediately, but now he's dead. Okay. a laser pistol which I'm probably gonna take instead of the shotgun not dead should be dead now okay uh, one laser pistol is gonna come with us that's good because we did have two of them drop funny enough That was an emergency, uh, emergency use of the uh, Super Bazooka right there. Knowing that I can't kill myself with the explosion, um, I thought it was safer to uh, shoot him right in the face when uh, before he can shoot me, because his shots aren't explosive and they will one-shot me. Gonna take the jackhammer again. God damn. Something's still alive, okay. We got nine explosives left. It's not very much. We got six energy as well. Now four. Oh man, this is gonna be. This is gonna be tough. Of course we do have a couple of things to fight back. The biggest one obviously being the super bazooka, but then also our right click um, explosions. Corpse explosions, if you will. Uh, 
This is the issue with the laser pistol without laser brain. It's not cutting it anymore here on the junkyard. Um, okay, something was already dead there. Nice. A laser rifle is better than a laser pistol, of course. Stuff. <sighs> Didn't need that, but it was also not a mimic, so it's okay. Strong spirit. We're starting to build a run. And starting to lose it again because we're out of ammo and uh, there are no co corpses over there that I could blow up for some damage. I don't know what to do. How am I gonna possibly kill some of my enemies that could drop ammo? I don't have any means to deal damage anymore. Um. And there's an assassin right behind that corner in case I peek out, so he, he's gonna take a swing. And that'll kill me in my current situation. Um, honestly, what do I do? I don't I don't just want to get myself killed because I'm out of ammo oh yeah he did get me in the end though hmm let's do a normal run this is a pretty tough weekly challenge though let's do a YV run because why not Oh yeah, forgot I'm not melting anymore. Can't uh, use my right click to blow up corpses. Instead I will shoot two ammunition of uh, two shots of the weapon that I am currently holding at once. Good. So, YV, <clears throat> of course, incredibly potent offensively as, as is. Because he does have not only that um, that right click ability, he also has just a a faster rate of fire than any other character to begin with. Um, obviously, the the downside is that he has no defensive uh, no no defensive uh, ability whatsoever. could just do this now and he's dead and everything's dead strong spirit is always great and luckily we did get impact risk on the first level or on the first uh, mutation choice so that'll make this level a little bit easier as well Not that the sewers is particularly hard in its own right, but you know it can be really annoying sometimes. Uh, sledgehammer, I don't think I want that. Obviously, melee weapons as YV are not as great as uh, you might want them to be because uh, the right click doesn't work. There's no way of. Uh, Taking two swings at once with, with with the right click or anything like that. You can only use the normal attack from a melee weapon with even as YV. Uh, hmm. 
That still doesn't doesn't mean that an energy sword is bad, because of course you still get the benefit from having a, a faster fire rate, but it would be awesome to, to get like double damage as well. Then again, you already get double damage on a on an energy sword if you have laser brain. With the right click it it would then make it like quadruple damage, and that's just a little bit that's just a little bit overpowered. <laughs> Should we take Throne Butt here? We don't have Trigger Fingers. I'm gonna take Laser Brain instead. I mean, it's still early enough in the run that we could still get um, Trigger Fingers. Certainly possible. But. Yeah, and that, that might make me regret not taking a phone, but, but even if we, if, even if we get just trigger fingers and no phone, but, I mean, okay, then, then, you know, we, we're, we're still gonna be in a good spot. It'll also make it so, um, unless we have bad muscle, um, we can still right click, uh, the, a super plasma cannon, and cannon if we find it, which would not be possible without back muscle if if we have thrown butt. Because one one right click with the super plasma cannon and YB's thrown butt is uh, 96 energy. You can't hold that much without back muscle. so many missiles but there's still one sniper alive no he is dead and so is big dog now eraser is quite a lot better and okay <laughs> went from golden machine gun shotgun to auto crossbow eraser it couldn't couldn't have gone much better than than this in in like one level and there's trigger fingers Maybe bolt now? That would also make a super crossbow like incredibly powerful. Um, rabbit paw for sure. Gonna help us uh, sustain on ammo. Which is another weakness of YV because obviously if you have higher fire rate that you take advantage of and also the ability to spend twice as much ammo at once, um, you're gonna need to replenish that ammo somehow. And the rabbit paw is gonna allow us to do that. Wow, okay that... That <laughs> eraser shot did a lot of damage. And no, not gonna give up the auto crossbow for a plasma rifle. What do we have here? There's a tank, there's a rollerbot, and that's the end of the level. Good. We might run into a little bit of trouble at the uh, at the little hunter fight because I don't think we can one shot him. I don't think the the eraser is quite powerful enough with a right click. Neither is the lightning shotgun. I can assure you that. Heavy revolver. And no, I don't think I'm gonna give up the auto crossbow for it. Good, but this level is looking fine so far. What was that? Energy sword. 
I'm glad I checked it again. Now with the energy sword, yeah, but unfortunately we don't have uh, boiling veins, so what? That guy still hit me? So if we kill him like immediately, we're also gonna die immediately because he's gonna explode. Okay, no. We live for now. I'll just clear the rest of the level, bring out the trash. Oh, and get killed by a tank. That's okay though, we did our best, <laughs> sort of. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, leave a like or a comment if you did. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.